This episode was brought to you by Autograph Events, our sponsor. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I won't let go till you say so. There isn't anything I wouldn't do. Want to make sure that you understand. Thank you for tuning in to The Crody Files. I'm Craig Bryson. And I'm Jody Mears. And, and together, together, we, we are, are The Crody, Crody Files. Files. Episode 5. In this episode, we are going to talk about how can administrative assistants achieve a better work-life balance. Uh, It's difficult because we do everything. How can you do balanced? (laughs) I know. I don't like the idea of a balance. It was recently pointed out to me in a webinar that if you think of a balance as a scale or a seesaw, one's up, one's One's down. down. And it's really difficult to achieve that equilibrium of the middle ground because you're going to make one tiptoe step and you're going to throw the other side off. It's really, I don't know if you can achieve a harmonious balance as such, but there are strategies and coping skills that we can talk about that help you inch towards making sure you're not just living to work. Yes. So what does it mean to you being a better work-life balance? I mean, you've got some children and so you've got to work and you've got to pick up the kids, you've got to drop them off. So how's that for you? Well, it's nothing new. Women have been doing this for years anyway, so it's nothing new, Craig. Multitask. We're definitely good at multitasking and keeping all balls up in the air anyway. So that's not a big deal for me. But it does add to sort of the complexities of my day, let's say that. I've achieved much better work-life balance since the whole work from home situation. Oh, definitely. Oh, yes. I am grateful in a sense of lockdown coming at the time it did. I mean, health issues aside, yeah, that's a completely different thing. Yeah. But. The positives of this worldwide complete shutdown has meant that my role, our role, has been highlighted as a a much more flexible role than it used Used to be be, considered. So the working from home and used to be frowned upon, like, oh, no, bums need to be on seats, you need to be visible, (laughs) you need to be by a printer, I'm afraid, you need to make sure if anyone needs anything, you need to be right there to go and get them something. (laughs) So I was really pleased that when lockdown happened and we were all working from home, it was a bit like, see? We can do it. Yeah, We can be at home and do the same thing. The company's still functioning. Yeah, um, and some of them still want us to go back through like five days a week. I think it's unrealistic. I think times is changing. Technology is coming forward, as we've been speaking the whole season. Yeah, I think now it's more two days in the office, and it's more of a catch up with your workmates and you know yeah. networking. For example, if I go into the office, I know that if my boss is there, I've got to be in there. If he's only going for two days, I'm going to be in there for mm-hmm. two days. But if I'm going to go when he's not there, other partners tend to use me because their EAs are at home and they say, oh, my ear's not here. Would you be able to print this? Would you be able to bound it? Would you be able to do this? So mm. it's that sort of, I'm going to stay at home when he's staying home. So there's balance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, whatever works for the business. I don't agree with the whole attitude of you've had your fun, now get back to the office. <laughs> the world has changed, changed yeah. permanently. It wasn't just a flitting moment where we had to put a few measures in and now, okay, everyone go back to normal. Yeah. There is no normal. We have a new normal this as we keep normal. getting quoted. This is the new normal. Yeah. There are lots of issues around going back to the office. I understand cities and infrastructure public transport needs to be supported but i don't necessarily feel that you have to be in work five days a week i don't believe in the office or company culture being centered around people in the Uh, office office. if the company culture wasn't there in the first place it's not going to be there now just because you're dragging people into the office unnecessarily i think you can be a lot more productive at home me personally i can I'd be too. Some I'd people too. love to be amongst other people, but, yeah. but now I've had two sides. Before lockdown, I used to like being with people, chatting, mm. hearing the buzz. Me too, yeah. Often like hit, working with a radio. Yeah. Now I need to be in silence and then I can crack on a lot. Yeah, focus. Yeah. yeah, so things have changed permanently. 
So therefore, work-life balance, work-life has changed permanently. So understanding what that now means for you, and I think it highlighted during lockdown what is important in your life, and it is being, you know, with your healthy. friends, healthy, family, friends and family, family yeah. first. Yeah, it's sort of shifted. This is the balance has shift now. It's more, I am focusing on me now. Yeah. And also with working from home, and even though you need to have breaks in between your work to take your mind off just to reset yourself, I started popping the washing on and just getting them out and hanging them up. And as I'm hanging up the washing, okay, I need to send that email. I need to do that. I need to do that. So I'm away from the computer, but also sort of doing my Still thinking. Still thinking, still working. And also putting on a meal, like cooking a roast chicken. Pop that in the oven. (laughs) Put it down, slow cook, all that sort of stuff. And then get back. That is very personal to you, but it does highlight the fact that when we're in the office, those things were still going through our mind yeah. but that anxiety of oh gosh oh, I need to get, get home, home I need to do all these dinner. things yeah. between five and seven <laughs> yeah there's so many things I need yeah. to cram in between five seven or five and eight, eight. so and if you've got small kids it's also I need to feed them at the bathroom get a lot of yeah. stuff I mean there's, there's going to be if you haven't got children there's going to be pets there's going to be dependents there's going to yeah. be family that buy That's... your time elsewhere or your leisure it might be a club or a hobby that you need to get mm. home to so the whole lockdown thing was a good thing for me it reset the balance yeah it reset the scales yeah and i now know and i've been forced into understanding what my learning style is yeah what's important to me and what i will and will not tolerate or can accept anymore yeah and also i'm thinking more of my sort of taking care of physical sort of Mm. mental health going to the gym during like oh instead of lunchtime as you can there's a gym across the road. I can take the nap. I want to go for my lunch. Go and do that sort of stuff. Before yeah, it's, it's really important. It's difficult when you're in the office because when you come back from the gym, you're still wet. It's hard to just <laughs> sling off as well in the office. So so what time have you come there? I've, 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 I'm on my lunch break. You know, yeah, offices sort of... are a funny environment. It's like being in a goldfish bowl, isn't it? You're just worried about who's watching, what are they thinking. But yeah. ultimately, we have got to think about what is good for us, what's good for our health, physical and mental health. And achieving that, you need to be realistic yes. and honest. Honest. And completely transparent with yourself, first of all, before you have any conversations of, yeah. this is how I like to work. Does the company support this? Ask questions. Yeah. What is the company's stance on work-life balance? What, what systems or initiatives do you have in place to yeah. promote a healthy work life balance it's, it's really not, not a balance no you yeah. shouldn't be balancing the two your life <laughs> should come first first yeah but we can kind of mix this advice in and sharing this knowledge in with learning and embracing new tech oh that's to achieve the the work yeah. life yeah. harmony let's say it's... streamlining processes yeah. efficiencies freeing yeah. up your time yeah so we spoke about time management time management and how long it can take doing the traditional route of booking meetings with other EAs, we need to set this meeting up. Is so and so free on Tuesday at five? No, he's not, but he's, he's free this time. You can use those new apps and software add ons. You might already have them licensed to the company yep. and you haven't asked enough questions yet. And use those power ups or those extra add ons to Outlook, Find Time. Every single one of these time saving or streamlining productivity app can help us achieve our work-life harmony so one supports the other the other one supports the other so we we need both in our life to support our desired outcome in life yes might be your mortgage or your hobby going on a cruise (laughs) here we go it's getting personal now no one could work for it has got a fit hasn't it it has yeah so what you do needs to support what you want Exactly. Having those conversations with yourself and understanding what your drivers are. Yeah. How do you want to balance your work and your life? And this is probably something you need to speak with your boss. Sit down and say, well, yeah. this is what I want to do. How can I do this? It's setting boundaries and yeah. uh, sort of priorities. Putting yourself in the front yeah. instead of putting others before you. Which I is think. difficult with us, isn't it? As, yeah. a, as a profession is because we're always known as 
supporting Teams. others, which I don't really like. You know, we are that skill. We are a team member. No, we're, but yeah, we're a skillful profession in its own right. We're not just a proper, yeah. just supporting other people to be successful, even though ultimately driving the business goals forward yeah. and personal goals and achievements is what we do. It's not just about other people. You might want to refresh a conversation with HR and maybe people culture, whatever they're called, to understand your company rewards and benefits. Yeah. There might be something there you've forgotten about. Maybe some healthcare add-ons for counselling, some gym membership, some app membership that's affiliated to all of the company benefits, which might help you in turn balance the, the harmony of work and life. It might give you some new ideas of how you can best use the company benefits and perks and rewards. I don't, what about the, can you do this? I need it now. It has extra work. And don't be afraid to say no. I find that, how urgent is this? Can I do this to tomorrow? Because I'm really sort of busy in that. So I think standing your ground and your boundaries, as we talked about earlier, I think yeah. that's something also, but you don't want to say no. I'm always saying yes to everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, we do tend to say yes, but yeah. we, we do need to be clear. If I say yes, what do you want me to put to the sideline? Yeah. Well, you've asked me to do all of this by the end of the day. Which is more important. Yeah. What Out of the 10, yeah. what three do you want done today? Yeah. Because I also need to go home and do some personal things. <laughs> yeah, I still have to go. It, it oh, yeah. is. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's finding those words and having that relationship at the beginning yeah. with your executive or your manager. And if you're able to delegate, that's another thing. If you're like yeah. part of a team and say, well, would you be able to do this? Because you're good at that and I can work on this and therefore we can get the job yeah, done. Yeah, delegation is great. I mean, there's a lot of VAs and PAs and definitely, well, VAs for sure that don't have the benefit of having a team to delegate. So leaning on being very proficient with your time, being strict with your own time, having yeah. that cutoff and that boundary to say at the forefront of the employment or the assignment i work these hours i mean if it's just, just letting you know if it's one off for example this client needs this document at six o'clock everybody's all hands on deck they're all doing it but if it's every day mm. then you work until eight o'clock there are like situations that. i'm not saying that it's five o'clock it's in my sort of contract i'm leaving now that's a bit not a team player so you need to say okay yeah i can help you but if i've worked three hours overtime can I come in a little bit later because I have to drop my kids off and I have to do this or stuff? So there should be a compromise by the company and yeah. the worker. And also, if you're going to have lunch, don't sit at your desk because as soon as you're eating at your desk, somebody will come. Get out of the office. Go for a walk. Definitely. Walk around or go for a jog or something. Don't sit at the desk because you're mentally sort of in this sort of cave, aren't you? You're mm. just in this building. You haven't seen the sunlight. You haven't been outside. You do need to get out just to get if you're lunchtime, you have to have a It helps break. with a bit of a creativity reset as well, where you're just staring at that screen and you're thinking about other things. If you just go for a walk, I mean, maybe just once quick around the block, yeah. you think, oh, I haven't got time for that. Yeah, you have to make time. It's you mental, have isn't to. It? You have, it's really, really important. important. And also just your eyes. If you're staring, it can damage your eyes. Staring, focusing and forward. There's a lot of few tips that you can if you walk away from a desk. Look at a point that, that's further than like 20 meters and then look at a point that is like one meter so you can focus and that also helps to mm -hmm. ease the stress that's on your eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get your eyes used to yeah. working They're again. They're <laughs> working again. So sort of standing in front of a screen that's shining in, into your eyes. But that's interesting, that catchphrase of, I haven't got time. Yeah. How that, do we make time? Yeah. I just get up and go. <laughs> do you? Yeah. I always say you have time for what's important exactly. and you know you have time. Yeah. If you have the choice to make when you either have time to answer that phone call, you, yeah. you have time to send that email. You've just not chosen it over something else. Yeah. So it's not that you haven't had time. You haven't chosen that yeah. as a priority. I agree. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's a bugbear of mine. Oh, I didn't have time to do that. I was so busy. I didn't have time to call you back. No, you did. <laughs> but you chose, chose not, not to. to. <laughs> the Crowdy Files is brought to you by Autograph Events, our show sponsors. 
Autograph Events are the experts in providing a complete event management solution. From free global venue finding through to full on-site event management, executive away days, team building and off-site meetings, they can help us plan it all. They offer that extra pair of hands, a bit like the assistant's assistant. The best part is they understand how we like to work. They understand our role. So for more information, email events at autograph-events.co.uk quoting Crody Files 2023 to find out how they can help you plan your next event and for your personal reward. Terms and conditions apply. Please see our website, craigandjody.com. Next, we have a listener question. Craig and I are going to answer this one. But if you would like to become part of the show and be a guest contributor, just get in touch and let us know your area of expertise. This question was sent in to us via our website and then recorded via voice note. If you have a burning question about absolutely anything that you want us to answer, please get in touch and we will happily feature it on the show. It's important to Craig and I that we remain current, sharing the best practice, best knowledge with you, but ultimately discussing what is on the top of your mind and is a hot topic to you. So get in touch today with your question. Hi, Cody. How do you balance work and personal life without compromising your output at work and family time at home? Thank you. We've had quite a few questions about health and wellness and work-life balance. This one of, around compromising the output is interesting because I guess what they're trying to say is, how can I still have a personal life and still get the job done? Done, yeah. I think the focus there is you've maybe been putting too much of your eggs into one basket yeah. into work yeah. and now you've realised you actually want your personal life back. Yeah yet you still want to deliver what you were delivering when, when you had focus, all the eggs in the in basket. basket. Yeah, There's a transition period, isn't there? Yeah, You need to communicate that I now need to network at four or five o'clock yeah. because I need to get to this class that I'm really interested in and it's going to be really beneficial to me in, in, in the end. I need to go to this whatever it is at yeah. five o'clock every Thursday. First of all, have that conversation be open and honest with yourself and with your manager or with your organization and come up with a solution however i can still deliver what you're asking me to deliver it's not going to have an effect on my no. output how is it not going to have an effect on your output staying organized staying organized yeah using uh, software that, that we discussed software be focused. be focused using the software to help you i mean this is where the whole ai thing comes in we all just transitioning from to this new work-life balance, embracing the AI, this is where it's all going to be filling these questions and answering this sort of information because this is what's going to help. That's so it's going to be freeing up our time. So if not to do something product-related at work, it's going to be freeing up your time to do something for yourself. Yeah. And remember, bring it all the way back to health and wellness first. See if there is a, a wellness initiative at work. See if you can tap into that, maybe become a member of it, be on the board, be yeah. on the committee. Do a lot of EA communities. You can sort of train them to do wellness and yoga. Yeah. That and and to push out company messages, understand what the company directive is with health and wellness. What are their priorities? What are they trying to push across? Some of them might not be health and wellness orientated at all, which no. is a bit sad. Yeah. Not all companies are. I mean, it's it, a, a lot are focused and they realize that people are most important yes people first and then all the business and sales and development comes naturally but not all companies no yes. so understand if that's the type of company you're you working work for. for yeah are they focused on employee well-being right they not focused on numbers and getting the, the, the finance up and not focusing on the people are working with them. And yeah, care of and them. if that's not working for you anymore, remember we can go back to our previous episodes for you to listen to where you need to understand if this is where you want to be long term. When is it time? Moving to move on. And if your work-life harmony is not in line with your company ethos, 
maybe that's a good time to start assessing. Have they got my best interests at heart mm, yes. as an employee? Yeah. Am I able to comfortably ask, is it okay if I go to, you know, a yoga close. club? Uh, yeah. It sounds ridiculous when I, we say I, it out I, loud, but yeah, you should be able to. You should, should be you? able to. It's like asking your parents for permission, but it should be. I mean, I, I understand if you're going to be working or doing something on company's time, but you do make it in other ways, like coming in a little oh, bit sure. earlier to yeah. do that. I mean, that's all self explanatory We're not, yeah, absolutely yeah. not saying undercut your hours no. every week. Again, flexible work. Flexible this is working why it hours. Works well, yeah. for me, flexible working is the gateway to my wellness yeah. because I just feel more in control and my output is higher. It's better. I'm where I want to be. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck on a train commuting two hours each way, yeah. stressed and wondering whether the trains are actually working tonight. And it's cost as well. So Cost, yeah, everything. It all comes in um, full circle and kind of overlaps into health, well-being. Am I in the right environment? Is the company all for me and with me? Does that in turn give me the work-life harmony that I'm looking for? Yeah. But you first. Yeah, you first. Yeah, your health comes first. If your health goes down, nobody's going to be there. <laughs> so you need to be able to get healthy and get to the right point. So to answer that question, how do you balance? I think you've just got to take stock and have a bit of a, a self-assessment. Assessment, yeah. Oh, what is it that's currently stopping you? What is it that is feeling you're compromising on your quality of output at work? Yeah. It could be as simple as just you're focusing on the wrong thing at work. You are getting a little waylaid. You're getting distracted. I'm so, not focusing. Yeah, you're, you're not focused on the task. Maybe your distractions are people coming up to you in the office. Can you just, yeah, just a minute, <laughs> when you've got a minute, can I just ask you? It might be all of those. That's so stressful. Isn't it? It's... I'm just trying to concentrate here. Uh, yeah. So the great thing I do is I just shove in my headphones and then when they walk, it's like, Oh, are you on the call? It's like, hey, yeah. me saying I'm not. I'm just turning to work. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a message. Send me I'm a message. Yeah. So figure out what it is that you feel is making you feel that you're compromising on output. Yeah, and, and communicate. Backtrack. And communicate with your, your boss or HR or... Have a conversation. Yeah. Join a, a health and wellness program that may be loosely associated with your employee benefits and perks that you yeah. might not realized yeah. but do get in touch with us if you feel that you've got something to add as well we'd be really interested to know if you have any other top tips or a bit of a spin on this listener question and you can get in contact with us on our website at the bottom where you can send in your high crody questions or on any of our social media at the crody files we look forward to receiving these. These are really sort of the highlights when we get they them are, to our emails yeah. and go, oh, what's this juicy bit? <laughs> and we do get a lot. It's really nice that you're using us as this sort of sound soundboard yeah. and that platform that we can ask questions out to the wider community and to our influencers and trainers in our space as well. Um, we like to think we're neutral in our advice. Yeah. We remain I'm biased when it comes to pointing you in certain directions. And we're only sharing our knowledge from our experiences and yes. what we're going through. So it's not all cement and this is what Credit File said it has to happen. It's no. nothing like that. And we're not pointing you into a certain direction to go and expense yourself with expensive learning and development. We will give you the whole broad range of options. So if there is something that you want specifically answered, please do email us yeah. through our website, craigandjody.com, or you can opt to record a high crowdy question to be featured on the show. Yeah. Subscribe so you never miss another episode and auto download. It really helps us stay visible to you. And where you can leave us a five star review, yeah. even if it's just one word, one word. it really, really helps. Delta. The world is changing and technology is right in our future. Without us, there is no tomorrow. We need to change with the times, helping, guiding and teaching each other is the only way we will get through this together as a team. We would love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe so you won't miss an episode. And why not share your thoughts with us on our LinkedIn page, The Crody Files, or visit craigandjody.com. I'm Craig Bryson. And I'm Jody Mears. And, and together, together, we are, we are The, the Crody, Crody Files. Files.
This episode was brought to you by Autograph Events, our sponsor.